Hi Libra, welcome to my Prime Moon Child. My name is Kaylee. This is your week ahead reading. Um, I can't believe we're through January already. We are into February. Well, I'm filming this at the end of January, but I can't believe it. Uh, Mercury retrograde is upon us, so be careful what you say or how you say things. Just have an extra little thought before it comes out because this is the time of, um, see? verbal things not happening properly or communication is really poor when mercury goes retrograde because it's the commander of the commander it has an effect on um communication skills wow that was like case in point um so yeah this is the week ahead all the normal housekeeping stuff is down below um you've actually got the tower come up this week Please don't, please, please, please don't fear the tower. The tower is, um, it's a bolt out of the blue, something. So you may get some shock news this week. Um, and it's going to feel like it's blasting you, literally blasting you out to sea. Um, and you're going to probably be like, well, yeah, my tower's been hit, but everybody else is getting hit. It's, you need to worry about you right now, Libra. I know you want to go and help everybody and make sure the world's in balance, but you need to sort out you at the moment. Um, you have the Mystic of Candles, which is the King of Wands. So, yeah, it's about tending to your kingdom, making sure you're all set. Um, it's having command. I think whatever shit storm is about to go down, you're going to have full command instinctively, knowing what to do and how to handle this situation. And quite creative ways of getting around it um the tower by the way isn't always a shit show by the way um some it's literally a bolt out the blue that shakes your whole foundations of everything you know life's never really going to be the same again but that doesn't have to be a bad thing because when the tower hits is hit and it comes crashing down it's raised to the ground it um it gives it everything that is strong enough to withhold that stands and anything that you um you, sh you can look around and everything that's standing serves your purpose serves what your your highest good everything else is obliterated if it's not strong enough if it was built on sand it's never gonna gonna be there you have um the dreamer of bells so now you have an opportunity this is the daydreamer the wish maker the um starts listening to their inner voice a bit more um I, I think now's a great opportunity for you to actually create, you can literally rebuild and create the world you really dream of, to be honest. If this is the ending of a relationship, you now don't have to answer to anybody. You can have the future you always wanted because you can literally dream up any scenario you want right now. You have the master of creativity and you have the daydreamer of emotional wish it do you know what i mean it's like getting in tune with your intuition and your instinctive knowledge and just kind of knowing how to handle the situation and what it is and how to build the world you want it's almost like you'll literally just go do you know what i'd really like i don't know i'd really like to find a house that has a studio so i can do my artwork and you're in the market obviously for a house and i think you'll find one that's in your budget out of nowhere a bolt out of nowhere or i've always wanted to i don't know i've always wanted to be a nurse and you'll find a way into it that keeps you paid and do, do you know what i mean you just kind of wish it and instinctively it'll come out of nowhere and you'll kind of dream up the path that you've always known you were supposed to follow and i kind of really like that it's almost like you could wish for anything right now and, and it will just appear like true magic um you have the five of bells uh the five of bells is um kind of winning at any costs um i will have what i want at any cost so just be mindful when you're chasing it that you're not um cutting people down in your wake running people over um it's just being mindful of how your um because this this dreamer the daydreamer can be like i want the dream so bad i'm gonna get it any way i want um and you can actually well i would say lose people that way but equally if you lose the people by getting what you want were they really there well, it depends how you go about it depends how you go about it so that's what i'm 
it's almost like you're going, well, they don't, they, if they were my true friend, they'd get why I went for it that way. And it's like, well, no, because there's ethics and morals. Do you know what I mean? There's morals to follow. Be mindful of going about it morally to get what you want. But I, I don't think you'll have to force it. I think any moral implications would be from you forcing it rather than accepting that, yes, it will happen because you willed it so, not because you made it so. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Yeah, it's going to be a competitive. Um... Oh, no, that's yeah, that's. Um... I think somebody's going to be jealous. There's going to be an element of jealousy around it. You might have to defend. And equally, if you did go by it by malicious means, there will be a backlash from that. You will have to defend your choices and what it was you chose to do. Um And I think you'll just go down the road, girl, they're just, they're just jealous. They're just jealous. They just wish they, they want to be me, but they can't be me. And that's not really the attitude to have, because I think that's what's going to cause the problem. Yeah, people are going to, I think it's, it's going to lead to you finding out who your real people are. But I think if you go along this route of, I have to win, I'm going to have it because I want it. Um, rather than, there's a difference between manifesting it and forcing it. And I think, you could go down the path of forcing it. Um, and if you do, you may lose important people along the way. They may walk away from you. Equally, if you force it, you may go for an option that won't serve you properly. The one that you're supposed to, to follow, whatever it is that you're wishing up, wishing, and dreaming, um, you just... Um, You, you could miss out on what you're truly supposed to be because you're forcing something that you think is your dream coming true. Your dream coming true will be effortless and you won't lose people along the way and you won't have to fight at any costs to get it. Um, but yeah, I think you could miss out. Take the wrong... If you, if you force it, you're going to get the wrong um, scenario and end up walking away from that anyway but it, it will be effortless what you want will come to you but it'll be effortless the, the king doesn't put in extra effort and go chasing things it comes to him sorry it was it's the king in the right away but the, the mystic doesn't force things they they come to the mystic because the mystic has willed it with magic and to the point where they it comes to them because they've they've manifested it the proper way not forced it by getting rash this this isn't a a knight this is a king and the king doesn't get messed up in battles and scraps and fights and i will win at any cost it's a careful decision and things come to a king naturally come to a king with it, their power yeah don't don't go riding over if if you go if you go charging too hard for it if you go charging for it you're going to steamroller over people um and not get to where you were supposed to go anyway because you're in too much of a rush to see the real path oh and this could very well be um chasing the wrong person because you've been trying to manifest who you love or who you want a equal partner and lover in your life um and I think you're going to chase the, you could chase the wrong person and end up hurting yourself and having to walk away from something, investing yourself emotionally in something too quickly. Um, so if you feel like you're chasing someone and forcing that situation, you probably are, because what you want is this easy go with the flow. They're out their element, but it doesn't matter because they'll breathe for them. Do you know what I mean? It's that soulmate it'll be easy because you'll find a way naturally not have to force a way for you both to to be together or it could be that you you did chase that you did rush into a relationship and everything feels so hard and like one of you's always got to be right and the other one's always defending themselves and it's like that's just not healthy and it's time if that's the case then you need to walk away because you need to find this this where you are right now isn't this it should be easy it should be easy and I think you've even said to yourself it's not meant to be this hard 
and you're right it's not meant to be this hard it's not meant to be this hard with this person I'm getting this is a person but um or a job it could be a job that really matters to you but it's not meant to be this hard it's not meant to be this hard because you're, it, it's this hard because you're on the wrong path right now and you need to go back and just go with the flow and see what comes up and stop trying to control everything because you can do that Libra you can tend to try to control things and control the outcome and you can't in this situation you have to get a bit unbalanced to find something that um you wouldn't normally um chase or go for because see she's got a potion for legs and he's got a potion for fins they're more than willing to do it for the other person but the other person's willing to do it for them too it's it's a case of it's an easy decision for them yes i want to be with you so i'll grow legs i'll come out of my element and be with you or yes i'll grow fins and come and live underwater with you it's it was an it's an easy choice for them and they're happy to make that choice there's no regret there there's no none of it but i i think it's one of you's making a sacrifice all the time a concession all the time and it's it's not meant to be this hard it's not meant to be this hard and you're right it's not um you have oh two came out what do you need to release like is this person that you're with do you need to let go um, and you've also had be bold and make the first move. Be bold and make the first move. Wherever you've been, whatever situation feels wrong, it's wrong for a reason. Expect powerful change. Yeah. I wouldn't worry. Don't feel bad that you made a wrong decision or you fell into a wrong relationship or um, or the wrong job or you took the wrong turn. It, it doesn't matter. You will get to where you're supposed to be. And once you stop trying to force something that clearly isn't supposed to be, I mean, this is like winning at any cost, like determined to make it work regardless, defending your decisions all the time to yourself, to other people, to them directly, um, or the job, or do you know what I mean? You're always defending yourself. It's not, it doesn't matter that, yes, you fought, 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 you tried to make it work. It doesn't work it's not working because it's not meant to work because you're not on the path that you're supposed to be on this is your life this is the universe smacking you back to where you're supposed to be the tower is all about smacking you back onto your path that you're supposed to be on if you're not on the right path it will make you go on the right path and this is what's happening right now you are being put on your correct path i think somebody there was uh, there was somebody i was watching the other day and they said it's like the blood in an artery like out of a heart along the artery you can follow the artery some people do they follow the artery they go exactly where they're supposed to go some people go off in capillaries but it doesn't matter you still end up back at the heart and you still end up back where you're supposed to be at the end of that wherever it is you've traveled through the body it might mean you take a few detours it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it's just a journey there are no wrong turns you are going to end up where you're supposed to be but while you keep battling, battling, it's like trying to swim upstream. This isn't going to get you anywhere. Where you are, this relationship isn't going to get you anywhere. And I think you know that. You know you're not where you're supposed to be. Because you know where you're supposed to be. You know already intuitively where you're supposed to be. That will make you on fire and burn passionately. Um, I'm going to pull you a um, sacred self-care card. What does Libra need for self-care this week? Make a vision board. Yeah, see where you want to be. You know where you want to be. You know what you want from some a relationship. You know what job you want to be in. You know what it, where it is you want to be. You know already. So make a vision board of what that life is going to be and start sending that out into the universe and saying, I want this board. I want what's on this board. I want this. Order it. Send it to the Universal Order Service. And then just sit back, go with the ride, and you'll see that things, it will just pop. You'll pop to where you're supposed to be. It's what the tower is all about. Does it, the, where you are right now doesn't serve you. So the universe is jumping in and going, bang. It's not, you're not where you're supposed to be. I'm going to fling you off this way to where you're supposed to be. You're way off course. Well, you're not way, way off course, but you're off course. So I'm going to kick you back to where you're supposed to be. 
stop fighting it. The universe has told you over and over and over again and you just, because you like things balanced and you like to control it and you like to know what's happening and everything and you like what you know, because you don't like being off balance, Libra, it's time to get off kilter and start, you've got to turn to where you need to be and then you can balance back out again. Trust me. Just, just go with it. Just, just go with it. See where it takes you. Um, hope that helps, Libra. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.